Hello and welcome YouTube friends. Today is uh, Friday the 19th of July. It is summer today. It's, oh, I would say about 25, 26 degrees. And the time is almost 1 p.m. Today we're in um, Frederiksberg Gardens, Frederiksberg Have. We're not going to take a thorough tour this week. We've done that before and I might do it again, but today we're just passing through it because I want to visit a um, cemetery, surprise, surprise, <laughs> on uh, the other side of the garden. A cemetery where I've never been. I think it's a very, as far as I can see on the map, it's a small cemetery, so it shouldn't take long. So I thought I might start the walk here in the Frederiksberg Gardens, uh, move through the park, and then go to the cemetery. <clears throat> Last week, we were in the park adjacent to this. Well, if some people consider it as one park, but it's separated by a large street called Roskillevej. On this side where we are now, it's called Frederiksberg Gardens. Um, the other side of the street where we were, were last uh, week, is called Sundermarken. So if you watch that one, you'll know what I'm talking about. This side of the street, Frederiksberg Gardens, is the, what should we call it, prettier version. Whereas Sundermarken is more like, a, I guess, purpose, purposefully uh, overgrown. This is more kept, if you will. Maybe not the exact part where I am now, but most of it is anyways. Um, at some later point, I might do that in the uh, autumn, since it is my favorite season. I might do a more thorough walk through this park to get into all the little paths and little places where you rarely go, instead of just the main way around, as I'll be doing today. Um, first off, I'm going to start down here, and that is also on purpose, because sometimes, if we are lucky, we can get a glimpse, believe it or not, at elephants. Uh, not always out, but the, you can have a peek into Copenhagen Zoo, which is located here. And sometimes they let the elephants out, and they have so today, I can see one of them at least. Against the sun. <laughs> so I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see it. can't see a thing so I'm not sure I'm pointing the camera in the right direction. Hopefully I am. I'll see if I can take a picture for my Instagram also. Hang on guys. Don't know if it's gonna catch it. you were able to see something but yeah I was directly against the sun so I couldn't see anything if I caught it on camera and uh, hopefully I did
I had a bit of history about this garden. At least what I remember of it. Um, it was built in 1699 by Frederick the uh, Fourth. It must have been. Um, and in those days, this was way out in the countryside and not, and not in the city as it is now. So he wanted a like a summer residence outside of Copenhagen. So they built him a little mansion or castle or whatever you want to call it out here. And a garden. So back then this garden was not uh, public as it is now. It was his own private garden. And it's about 65, if I remember correctly, acres. So um, his own private garden, 65 acres, again back then out in the countryside in Copenhagen, outside of Copenhagen, his own summer house. And I'll be showing that to you in just a minute. We're going to pass it very soon. But this, uh, back then, um, it was God and then the king and everything and everybody else underneath. So uh, I guess it's, today it seems like too much, right? But back then it was probably just, let me take a detour, hang on guys. Back then it was probably just normal that the king had this much room for himself. But yeah, built in 1699, Frederick IV, summer residence, 60, I mean, I, I'm almost sure it was 65 acres or, or thereabouts. So yeah, we're not going to pass all through all of it today, just, just a bit of it. But this park, combined with the park we went through last week, I mean, it's almost one park divided by a road. I like those two parks because they're so very different. And back when I used to run before I got injured, I liked uh, the contrast and I liked that, uh, especially in the other part of the park, um, it's somewhat hilly. Let me take a picture of these. If they are not gonna attack me, we'll see, hang on. Oh, that's quite peaceful right now, but when they have, you know, babies, <laughs> they are really aggressive and mean. Now, right over here on my right, I'll point my camera back in a second. You can see the, the summer house of Frederick IV. I'm not sure what they used it for nowadays. I think it might be something with the military. Maybe some offices or something, I'm not quite sure. Just get a picture for my Instagram as well. Hang on, guys. Again, it's against the sun, so 
I'm not sure how good this is gonna get. This hill, you'll see, well, maybe not now, people are still working, but you'll see a lot of runners running back and forth, up and down. I did it once too, well, not once, several times back then. And the part of the park that's been on my left is the park that we are not gonna explore today, but maybe later in the year. There's a lot of little intricate paths and stuff like that in there. Boats, little ponds, lakes and stuff. I'll show you when we pass it, but right up here on the right, it's a great restaurant. It's been a while since I've been there, but if they've maintained their level of quality, it's a really great uh, restaurant. So this must be the grandson of the king who uh, started this park and summer house, Frederick VI. Or maybe even grand no, a great grandchild, right? Because I think the son of great great grandchild, maybe even 
The son of Frederick IV must have been what? Christian the Six or something? Yeah, I'm, I should have maybe studied our kings a little bit better. I'm really bad at that. I know, I, I would say in all humility that I know uh, in general a lot of stuff about Danish history, but I'm not a big guy on details. <laughs> it's more big picture kind of stuff. Anyways, this was uh, our quick path, pass through of... Uh, Fredericksburg Gardens and then um, cemetery is right over here we'll go there now the restaurant I was talking about is in this building right here I'll show you the sign over here I think I might have shown it to you guys on the video I did here maybe last autumn or something like I said it's Last time I was here was maybe in the beginning of, or oh, maybe summer of 21 or 22, I don't even remember. But if that maintained the uh, level of quality, it's a really good restaurant. I'm a master at forgetting to take pictures to my Instagram, but there you go. This is all fun, so I'm thinking we'll be fine. A few videos ago, I filmed a walk down this street. Um, Pile Alley, but also down to Falcone. It, it turns into a street called Falcone Alley, a little further down. And the street over there, we might end up over there after the cemetery. It's called. Hang on, let me see. So people just run the red lights now, huh? without even blinking. Ah, whatever. I would never understand people in traffic. All right, so like I said, this is, will be my first time in this cemetery as well. So we'll kind of stumble our way ar around, I guess. Let me take a picture here. Why are all the interesting things I want to take pictures of against the sun? <laughs> okay. Supposedly, I didn't have time to run through the entire list, but there are a few um, Danish celebrities, They're not modern celebrities, but old-timey celebrities are apparently buried here. Uh, I'm not planning a big quote-unquote hunt for their resting places, but uh, just a casual stroll. Oh, there might be a list here, actually. But yeah, it'll take me all day then. and I can film the sign for you guys who are interested. Again, I'm a big picture kind of guy. <laughs> Not a detailed kind of guy. Which is both good and bad. Try this way. I'm, a, I'm the kind of guy, you know, who gets. Um, I get stuff done. I'm very good at starting stuff, you know, initiating projects, tasks, and so forth, so forth. And I'm very efficient. I am, however, not very good at dwelling at the little things. And I'm not always an expert in finishing things either, because I am too busy starting new stuff. So that's, I guess, both good and bad.
you guys who've been following me knows that I have a thing for cemeteries. They're kind of given kind of a. Um, uh, it makes me calm somehow. Oh, this is a famous poet. Well, famous. Danish famous. I really can't see anything in my camera today because of the sun, so I'm hoping I'm getting this, but anyways. And even a mausoleum here. So this is apparently, I don't know this family, but a family purchased this for the entire family to be buried in. Um, I don't know if it's someone I should know or not. I feel myself speaking in a more quiet voice when I'm in here. <laughs> Even though I think I'm the only one here. Bigger than I thought. Let's, uh, I think this is the way out, so maybe we'll skip this part. Yeah. that they uh, instead of just the usual gravestone that I make kind of an artsy thing maybe it's something something he did himself maybe I can't see what this says but it looks this looks really old <laughs> can't see what it says Let me take another picture, guys. Hang on. Also, a pretty cool one. This was apparently a minister of finance. Don't have I heard of him? Maybe I have. before my time.
it is actually somewhat larger than I thought it would be. Should we try to maybe go this way? Oh, isn't that Banksy? Yeah, uh, the girl with the balloon. Might be. She was really young. That's really sad. That's horrible. Okay, that was much bigger than I thought it would be. I thought it would be a tiny cemetery, but we didn't even go through all of it. see two hearses over here so I think we're gonna take the other way around and then we'll just leave quietly and quickly not to uh, 
disrespect anybody. We're good. All right. I think we're gonna walk maybe a block or two down this street called Frederiksberg Alley. It's really starting to get hot right now. Whew. Copenhagen has a weird feeling these few weeks around this time of year because everybody's on holiday so there are still people here but the parts of Copenhagen that are not touristy are more empty than usual and when you go to the touristy places they're packed <laughs> so I try to stay away from those Also, when I go to work in the morning, ride my bicycle, it's, uh, it takes me maybe 10 minutes faster than I usually would. Almost. Because there's so much less traffic. This is the back entrance of the cemetery. Maybe we should just finish off here. And um, as per usual, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Hit the like button if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next week.